Hello, my name is Kingsley. Um, this video is a demonstration on how to use ISIS, ISPEN ISIS to carry out a dynamic simulation of a flow station. Um, example of a flow station uh, is in this picture I have here. Zoom in. Okay, so we have a test separator, we have a HP separator, we have a LP, that's low pressure separator, we have the surge vessel, and we have the knockout drum. Okay, so let me explain in this model. Um, the HP separator is this, the LP, the surge vessel, and knockout drum. The crude oil we have here, Crude oil, which has the light end and the oil itself, the crude oil flows through this inlet valve to the HP separator. In the HP separator, gas is flashed off. Most of the gas has been flashed off here, especially maintained. And why um, the liquid? portion is flowed through the LCV, the level control valve, and gets into the low pressure separator. Within the, uh, the LP separator, further separation of gas and liquid takes place. Gas is being flushed off, and liquid goes through the level control valve to the surge vessel. From the surge vessel, it gets to the uh, export pump. While the gas from the LHP, LP, and the surge vessel are all routed through a flare header to the knockout drum. And from the knockout drum, entrained gas is being recycled down to the surge vessel while um, gas are sent to the flare stack for gas flaring. Now, why dynamic simulation? Dynamic simulation gives actual representation of a process facility, especially when, uh, when there is turbulence. Turbulence such as change in pressure from the set pressure, uh, change in, uh, in uh, liquid percentage level of the vessels, um, change in the flow. So once there are changes, the respective controller uh, detects and gives the appropriate action to the valve that is being connected to. For instance, we have flow indicator controller, which is this here. It's set at 30,000 barriers. So it measures the flow upstream of the valve. If the flow is bigger than 30,000, or less than 30,000 barriers. The difference, which is an error, which is error, is sent, the appropriate signal is sent to the valve for it to either open above 50% or reduce below 50%. Now, for the HP separator, the HP operates at um, Operates at one hundred and forty-five point eight psi. This is the set pressure for this HP. Now, if the pressure exceeds or goes below this, uh, uh, the, goes below if the pressure within this HP separator is above or below the set pressure, the pressure indicator controller measures that pressure compares it with the set pressure, the difference, the proper signal is sent to the actuator of the PC, the pressure control valve, to either open above 50% or go open below 50%. Likewise, for the, um, um, for the level of the separator, engineering design, separators are assigned 50% and level that's half field. 
the level indicator controller measures the level in the separator, if the level is above 50% or is below 50%, the difference is sends the appropriate signal to the level control valve actuator to either open more than 50% or reduce more than 40%, more than 50% rather. Right and this is how it controls the level in the separator. Now, before you can carry out the dynamic simulations, you must ensure that your steady state modeling is very accurate and all equipment in your model are sized appropriately. The valve should be sized, all vessels should be sized, and if your own case is different from this, if you have a pump or a compressor, those equipment need to be sized before you can run a dynamic simulation. Okay? Now, uh, let's show the values of some flow line and see how it responds to response in a dynamic state. So there's a question line. Likewise, same. Okay, so before you run the dynamic state, before you run this your simulation, the dynamic state, which is the actual condition of the plant, you go to the dynamic assistant to see, uh, okay, if you're not, if there's an error, you see some word is here. So we're green, so we're good to go. So just take a look. Uh, this value and how and the respective opening percentage and the value of the process variables how they change with, with time are you sure yes we are run so we have some liquid when in operation uh, some liquid from the no card run that will be recycled to the search vessel. Okay, so let's create some turbulence. Let me stop. If the course of um, operation, the, the pressure changes, let's see how the plants will respond to changing pressure. Let's say the pressure is um, 300. Now run. You see the flow indicator it's opening is thirty five percent opening. You see how each valve's uh, opening changes 
with the yeah, with the change in the pressure. Okay, so let's let's uh, try another turbulence and uh, pause. Now let's see. Uh, Let's turn this back to the value that we have. And run it again. This is just going back to 50. And everything is stabilized. Okay. Now let me stop this key. Let's create a turbulence. The search vessel. Let's assume it's an empty search vessel and know what time it will be required to fill, get it half filled. Okay, so to do that, Okay. Uh, search vessel, look for a search vessel, yeah. So, we're looking at the percentage liquid level, liquid level percentage. Liquid percentage level. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, the reference point, which will be the set, set point, which is um, the level indicator controller. The set point is 50%. So, click display. Let's see how long it will take for this search to get to its fifty percent level. Um, watch the respective change. This is what will happen real life once this facility is this. Flow station is operated under this condition. Okay. See how it's trying to stabilize. There's a level control indicate controller for the search. This is the pressure, uh, pressure indicator controller for the search, controlling the pressure control valves. So then it's not normalized. Here's the stop. You could see zoom. Um, you check when it first got to 50%, and uh, check the time. So the time is four. Four one seven minutes. Four one seven minutes to fill this. Okay. You can reach me. My name is Kingsley. My phone number is here. My email address is here. You can reach me, and I'm glad to assist. Thanks for watching.